Objective 4 reads, describe a scientific theory. Well, we all use theory in our everyday language, and we're just basing it on untested ideas, things that we've observed that happen a lot. We say that my theory is such and such. But a scientific theory is a powerful, broad explanation for related observations. It is based on well-supported hypotheses, and it is supported by different lines of research. There are a lot of theories in science. Here's one, chronic stomach ulcers. Well, it's a common belief, we might even say it's a common theory, that ulcers are caused by acids and spicy foods, and that if you want to avoid an ulcer, then you take drugs to reduce your acid and avoid spicy foods. But there's a new observation. In ulcer tissue, every time they tested it, they found Helicobacter pylori bacteria. And so these scientists that you see in figure B started doing some work with that. And it is now an accepted fact that H. pylori infections cause stomach ulcers. Why do we accept it? Because there's been no reasonable alternative hypotheses supported. This hypothesis has not been rejected by any carefully designed experiments. And so the relationship between H. pylori and stomach ulcers follows the germ theory of disease. That's an example of a scientific theory. It's been well supported by other lines of uh, research and it's believed to be true. So that's the difference in my saying it is my theory that it is best to work in the yard in the summertime in the morning. That's my theory based on my observations and what I've experienced. But this is a scientific theory, the germ theory of disease. It's well supported by lots of scientific evidence.